I'm Richard from Electric Classic Cars, and in this week's episode, sponsored by Mauser Electronics, we're talking all about the beautiful Porsche 911, or more specifically, our bolt-in electric conversion kit for the Porsche 911. Let's get into it. Now, I'm going to have to start off this episode with a little bit of a correction, because this is not a Porsche 911. This is a 912. Now, people out there are probably wondering, what's that then? Because I thought that looks exactly like a 911. And you're right. The only difference really between a 911 and a 912 is in the back. Let me show you. And the difference was in here, because unlike its bigger brother, the 911, the 912 had a four-cylinder engine, whereas the 911 had a six-cylinder engine which means that as far as our bolting kit is concerned, we just had to move the mounts a little bit further forward because the 912 mounts are here, whereas the 911 mounts are further back over there. But apart from that, our kit for the 911 and the 912 is exactly the same. So once this is all bolted into the car, the next thing is just to connect the cables up. But this is where our engineering experience of converting so many cars, and I think we've converted over 75 cars to electric now, really comes into play. Because it's not just a case of, you know, cable tying the cables to here, and, you know, we've got proper cable management going on. So we've got the cable clamps all in the right places, maintaining the bend radiuses correctly, and securely holding those high voltage cables all in place around the battery box and on the cradle. Not only that, but also ensuring that we're keeping the low voltage and CAN communications also away from the high voltage over here. Now, all of our conversions and builds that we have in the workshop has a wide multitude of electronics components in, like this race car here. And that's one of the reasons why we use Mauser Electronics and their awesome website, mauser.com, which is kind of become a one-stop shop for us to get loads of those components from. Components like these Gigavac contactors that we have here. And in battery boxes like this, there'll be a wide variety of ceramic fuses from great companies like Little Fuse and Eaton and Fuse Holders as well. Now, when it comes to building up wiring looms, you've got to have the right tools for the right job. And Mauser have got a fantastic selection of the specialist tools that you need to do this kind of work, like TE connectivity and Molex. And once you've identified the component that you need, ordering couldn't be easier with Mauser. You just go to mauser.com, up top in the search window, put in the keyword or the part number that you need. Up comes a product, click order, and with their speedy delivery, it'll be with you in no time. Now, the first job on any conversion, if you like, is running the cable looms and the coolant lines through the car. And with our bolting Porsche conversion kits, it's no different. We've got pre-made low voltage and high voltage looms and running it through the car. For us, it's really important there's no holes drilled through these cars because we don't really want to be messing around with the original infrastructure of the car, both from a a respect point of view because it's a beautiful old classic car but also in the UK from a legislation point of view we're not allowed to actually drill any new holes either in chassis or the monocoque so what we've done we've utilized here the old gear shifter hole here and other holes to run things like the high voltage and the low voltage and the coolant lines through the car now the rest of the kit goes in the front here and we've got a 62 kilowatt hour battery in this 911. Half of it is in the front, half of it is in the rear. Now we've done that because we can improve the weight distribution in a 911 or a 912, because usually most of your weight is behind you, which is okay, but not ideal. And the benefit of having batteries is you can kind of treat them as ballast, if you like, and improve the weight distribution which then improves the handling and that's exactly what we've done with our Porsche 911 and 912 kits. So that battery pack there, which is exa exactly the same size as the one in the rear, sits down here and it's really nice and low as well which helps with the handling. So once that's in here, there, exactly the same scenario again, yeah, hook up all the high voltage cables, clamp them into the pre-made cable clamps, and away you go. 
Now it's fair to say this conversion is not complete yet because uh, as you can see it's got cables still hanging around the place. The uh, motor controllers aren't mounted. Um, but with any conversion the challenge is one of packaging and where you're going to put stuff. And in the 911s and 912s, the early ones, they had what's called a smuggler's box. So what we've done is utilise that space for our relay and fuse box. Now interior wise it's really important to us and the clients that we keep it pretty much looking stock because we don't want to give the game away that it's an electric car for instance so the dashboard looks pretty much the same it's got the analog dials on it you've got the 12 volt battery there you've got the high voltage battery there that's amps um, speedo this client specifically wanted a white speedo in the middle which i think looks quite cool especially with the the blue bodywork background um, you've got the battery percentage here obviously it's a 62 kilowatt hour battery uh, to charge it up you've got a seven kilowatt charger on the back battery box and the ccs rapid charging option as well uh, you've got here this is the motor temperature and battery temperature as well so the the dial set at that iconic five dial cluster if you like looks pretty much stock uh, which really looks nice against the original steering wheel. As far as changing direction is concerned, reverse, neutral and drive, we've got that off the original gear stick as well. But interior-wise and exterior-wise, the company Stuttgart Classics that did the restoration on this car have done an absolutely outstanding job. Now, one of the challenges with any air-cooled car, like a Porsche or a, a Volkswagen Beetle, for instance, is the fact there's no radiators on those cars. So we've got to install our own radiator down there for thermally managing things like the motor and inverter and the battery packs. And that's sitting just in front of the rear valance, as well as header tanks for the battery pack and the motor and inverter. But while we're on the subject of thermal management, the heating and cooling, I should mention also we've got an electric heater on the car because obviously the heat in there was originally air-cooled and derived from the engine itself. But also there's an air conditioning system as well going in, so it's got AC in this car as well. That's an optional extra for most of the bolting conversions we do. But what's not an optional extra in comes the standard of things like traction control and cruise control, for instance. So there we go, our Bolton electric conversion kit for the Porsche 911 and 912. And I know I've probably mispronounced Porsche loads of times and called it Porsche in this episode. It's going to annoy me as much as it's going to annoy you Porsche fans out there. But while we got you Porsche fans out there, I've got a question for you. What other differences were there on the Porsche 912? I know there was the engine. Was the gearbox different? Was there a four-speed gearbox? Were there any other changes? Um, expert comments below, please. Um, but talking about experts, we are not selling this conversion kit to DIYers. We're selling them through approved partners like uh, conversion shops and Porsche specialists. So if there's any of you guys out there, for instance, in those type of shops that are interested, contact us through the website and we'll answer any questions you've got, technical and pricing, through there. Thanks as well to Mauser Electronics for sponsoring this episode. Don't forget to go to mauser.com for all of your electronics components needs. We'll put the link in the description. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you on the next one.